is a, it's called a pin lock system. This is the pin, and then inside there's a hole who connects the pin together, and then it's uh, solid. There's another system called the air suction system, but when you bicycle, the vacuum cannot stain 100% all the time, so it's really dangerous bicycling with an air suction system because you can lose the compression of the, the vacuum and you're snapping out of your, with your limb and then you can have an accident. So the pin lock is very secure. Uh, the protesticist was making two liners in the morning. I'm pretty much way swollen up. My volume of my limb is really bigger. Then I take that thing out and then as soon as like 20, 30 minutes later, I put that thing back in there and then I have to kind of uh, space for the appropriate distance to be able to fit nice and snug in there. Um, yeah, and then I have uh, special shoes. Uh, if I actually have a special bicycle pedal, it's, um, it's a magnet. So on my left side, I, uh, I don't have the ability to rotate right and left because on the right side, I have a SPT pedal. So you click in and I can rotate right, right side out but on this side, I cannot make that rotational movement with a magnet, with enough force, I can pull myself up and I disconnect the magnet. But I'm still connected with my pedal, so it's much easier for bicycle riding when you have that. So that's two different systems. Well, I already bicycle across the country three times. Every time I was bicycling from east to west. Uh, this is the first time actually going west to east. And actually, when I bicycled the first time from North America, I bicycled from Alaska all the way to Mexico City, and I bicycled the entire length of uh, the west coast. And the most beautiful scenic highway is the Pacific Coast Highway because you have the entire time on the right-hand side uh, the Pacific. So I'm, I really like, I love that stretch. And that's the reason I decided to start in San Francisco. And um, the matter of the fact, um, it's the journey, it's not a destination. So not like race across America, we launched actually in the same time. Right. They're right now finishing it up, uh, pulling that record like 3,800 miles in whatever, 15, 16 days as a single guy and as a team, like 10 days. Unbelievable, but that's not the point for me. I don't feel like I have to prove anything to anybody. For me, it's more important to inspire people that I can see me, that this crazy woman can do it in her old age and age. Maybe I inspire some young kids to follow up and do it as well. Because I think uh, there's one lady uh, with a prosthetic leg who got inspired that I hiked up Lake Trail and I saw it on social media uh, floating around a couple comments that she wants to hike right now the Appalachian Trail as well on a prosthetic. So I hope um, with more social media attention with you as well, doing that newspaper article, uh, maybe I can uh, give some motivation out there. And I want to be a motivational speaker. Actually, the book is the tool for me to hopefully getting more speaking engagements because I have a great story to tell um, about uh, how easily it is to being fooled around by doctors, friends and family. And the message is listen to yourself and not listen so much from people, but I want to push on you to you and push for yourself what you want to do. That's my book title, Push On. <laughs> what kind of supplies are you carrying? Uh, basic stuff, uh, not not too fancy. I have ultra lightweight gear, what I used when I hiked the Appalachian Trail, so it's self-support, meaning I have my tent, my sleeping bag. I did have a cooking stove, but um, right now I got supported by a cliff bar who actually supported me with over 400 bars. Uh, a friend of mine in Denver is shipping them along the way out to me. <laughs> so right now we're eating uh, during the day cliff bars and they're organic and uh, they have all, all kinds of uh, good seeds and uh, lots of fiber. And <laughs> so yeah, actually I'm eating a lot of cliff bars right now. <laughs> now you said, um, I think the comment you said that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey actually. Yeah. Do you have a set amount or an estimated amount of miles you travel every day? Well, I, I was surprised on my uh, second day when I finally started going south. I pushed 85 miles on my second day, so that was pretty cool. Um, but it helped, I had some tailwind. But then I was bicing through Big Sur, and Big Sur has like huge elevation change. So I was pushing maybe 40 miles a day. So right now here in the middle of California, the heat is really pulling lots of energy out of you. I, uh, I feel like my body is right now tired, especially right now. I can write now volume two, uh, my walk to recovery in Appalachian Trail. Right now I can write a second book, my bicycle ride to recovery because I was skiing in December and uh, I got terrified of a snowboarder behind me. I looked uphill, I caught an edge and broke my femur right where my prosthetic leg ends. And so I had a snap cut right through there, completely broke through. And I was uh, back in the operation room, had surgery, more screwed up than ever before. I have screws in my pelvis, screws in my femur neck. 
Also bicycling, I was uh, not able to get out of my click-in pedal and I fall hard on my left side. So I have a metal rod in my femur neck. Now I have additional screws in my femur on my knee side because um, I had a ski accident, so I was atrophied again. I was on crutches for several weeks. And now I'm recuperating from my latest injury. And um, so I have maybe right now again only 50% leg strength. So yeah, 50%. Wow. So that's one of the reasons to wipe me back in shape <laughs> as uh, promoting my book. And um, actually writing that book took me two years. It's self-published. Uh, gained probably over 20 pounds, so that's another reason I'm on a bicycle course to kind of lose my weight. Uh, the, the German sausage has to be gone, end of the ride. <laughs> you know that stuff that comes over your belt. <laughs> so that's the thing I like to accomplish and get my leg strength back. And, uh, and yeah, I'm giving the message out there. If I can do it, other people can do it as well.